This video is gonna be mostly satire. I really don't wanna get thrown in there with the beauty gurus. But with that being said, Bonjour, bitches! I'm gonna be so real. Living in LA is great. I have so many amazing opportunities, so many great friends who do what I do. And some of these people get a lot of PR, and when that happens, regifting occurs. And these gifts can vary from like hoverboards and fun sporty balls <sighs> or makeup, which I have never fully used. I thought to myself in my bed, what could I do to make use of this? It struck me faster than lightning, if lightning would ever strike me. There's this phrase, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So when life gives you a whole goodie bag of makeup, make a makeup video. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Carter Kench. Carter Kench is my full name. Carter Philip Kench is my full legal name. And now I'm over sharing, so let's get into this. If there's one thing you should know about me, I don't really partake in makeup. It's nothing personal. It's mostly just because I don't like stuff on my face. I think it feels very fabricated. But with that being said, these girlies that walk around on the streets looking like a snatched Barbie, I'm starting to get jealous. And so I think this is a perfect time to really practice the craft that is makeup. There were two ways I saw this video going. Direction number one was following a tutorial. Personally, I think I am capable of handling this on my own. So we're going with direction two, self-intuitive thought. As you can see by my forming leaning tower of makeup, I got gifted a lot. And since I'm not following a tutorial, I don't fully know if I have everything. I think I do. It looks like I do. We'll just leave that part up to Jesus. Wow, I didn't know they made makeup crayons. I'm gonna go with step one being the pore super setter. And I'm doing this because it says makeup setting spray. I'm pretty sure that's the start of every makeup routine. Like, do I look gullible to you? Oh my God, I almost forgot the most important step. Now that step one's out of the way. <laughs> now that my face is set, let's get into the first actual makeup product. Why is it white? I thought primer is supposed to be like the color of your skin. I am Confucian, but I'm still wiping on my face anyways. The primer is the most important part of your makeup routine because it really just sets in stone what you're trying to accomplish. Next, I think we should use concealer. I do know a lot about concealer actually. It's like the birthplace of makeup, if I'm correct. It just goes on your blemishes. You have a problem on your face? Concealer will take great care of you. And I actually have an extremely red nose. It's one of my biggest insecurities, but I see girls doing this all over, so I'm gonna try it. Mm, I'm like a little kitty cat. And then once you feel like you've had enough, you want to go back in with a beauty blender. Do I have one? Yes, I do. This honestly reminds me of like a minimal amount of self-torture in a way. Y'all do this every day. Y'all just sit here and punch yourself with a tiny little sponge for an hour. I've been sitting here for 20 and I feel like I've reached my wit's end. Wow. Oh my God. Low key just convinced myself concealer is not that bad. I mean, I was a red hot chili pepper before I started. Now I look like an animatronic from the Haunted Mansion. How do we add some color back to me? I need to get rejuvenated. Oh my God. Can I finally use one of the crayons? Uh, my roommates want to get a moon jar for me because apparently I'm too vocal about it. It's broken. Whatever, I'll still make it work. Every time I see a video, you always wanna add back a little details by your bone structure. So like maybe like just a nice thick line here. Yeah, I've seen so many people do it on the bridge of their nose as well. Oh my God, I only got three swipes at this thing before it went away on me. Is swiper around? Uh, don't really know what to do after the fact. Oh. After applying a little bit harder, it goes away. You just gotta borderline suffocate your skin cells. I had this powder circular container and I was gonna use that next, but I don't see it. So we're just gonna skip it. Next, oh my god, oh! I'm pretty sure this is a nice mascara by Bad Girl Riri. It's called Bang, and it sounds like a bang as well. One of my favorite features are my eyelashes. Everybody says I have extremely long ones. Let's accentuate them. Ah, you get this close to your eye? This is not for the faint of heart. What if I only left one side? What if I only did one side mascara? Do you think it would catch on? I can't, I'm done. Oh my God, that was a lot for me. I really did not do that bad of a job. Look how sexy. That was such a bang. Let's follow it up with some brow glue. Brow glue is the most self-explanatory name. I already know where this goes. On ear brows. I don't know what I'm gonna go for. I'm thinking a Cara Delevingne look. Let's give my eyebrows the biggest. This deserves to be on the cover of Vogue. Can I real quickly talk to you guys about something that happened today? 
it was traumatic. My friend has been visiting me and she's just been sleeping on our couch. Today, I took her to the airport at seven in the morning. It was quite a fun excursion. I got Chick-fil-A breakfast. Don't worry, I did enjoy myself. It was after I dropped my friend off at the airport that I started my return journey. And this little 40 year old woman that was tailing me for a good mile or two decided to come up next to me and give me the bird. I was just chilling, listening to AJR you know, trying to like wake up for the morning. And little Miss Betsy Boo saw my car color and decided to give me hate. This is a lip pencil. Oh my God, I'm gonna line my lips. Is this for real? You know, to be fair, I just don't have any other things to put on my face. So we're just gonna keep working with it. <laughs> and that's how you go south real fast. Can I do anything to fix it? What is this? Shine loud? Do I just do it? Nobody's telling me no. I did it. I did it again. I did it for a third time, bitch. Now that the makeup's done, we gotta do something about the hair. This isn't gonna cut it, okay? I'm thinking something a little timeless, you know? A little bit of curvature, a little bit of a statement piece, but not too much to the point where it just like takes over my entire look. This is what I'm using. I stole it from my roommate. I'm about to do something so cool. I think the hair was a bad decision. I don't know what this is, but, oh. Oh my God, I think this is for freckles. I didn't even know I got one of these. Literally so good. The natural beauty is so shining through right now. That's it, I'm giving myself a mohawk. I have nothing else to do with my life. Okay, here's the finished look. <laughs> Maybe next time I should follow a tutorial because I really don't think I knew what I was doing. And I need founding powder. What is it called? Powder? Baby powder? I don't know the right name. Can you guys let me know what I need so next time I'm actually prepared? That'd be amazing. And I hope you enjoyed. I love you.